Hi, Jan. It's good to hear from you. I've enjoyed how we've been sharing our favorite scriptures with each other. It helps us grow and mature. I've written down some thoughts that I wanted to share with you about 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. Yes, it's one of my favorites too. I love the Word of God. It was a blessing to my, that my grandmother and my mother who loved God and instilled that in me. My life has been filled with going to Sunday school, church services, ladies' Bible classes, and many spiritual discussions with Jim. Having grown up in the church, I'm sure you've experienced the same thing, Jan. Don't you love how those biblical studies have stretched you and helped you grow in love for God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit? In Ladies' Bible class, we studied a book by Jen Wilkin, where she referenced three things that resonated with me about the impact of God's Word that has had on my life. First, she said the Bible is like a mirror. I can look at it, and from reading it, I can tell if my life is a true reflection of what's in the scriptures. I know what I want to look like. The second thing is, it can be used as a guide to help me know what is acceptable and right for me to do. There are benefits for me and others to obey what the Bible teaches. It's like driving a car. There are a lot of laws, and if everyone follows the laws, the traffic goes smoothly and safely. And then thirdly, the Word of God gives me a path to travel. I know where I am going, and I know how to act to get there. Do I always measure up to these guidelines of the Bible? Of course not. But I know that God's grace will cover me and my life is full of his joy. Jan, I know you agree that it is important to encourage others to find different ways to be in the Word. Daily Bible readings, sermons, classes, listening to the Bible being read, discussions with your peers, are all ways to help persons to grow and mature in the Lord. Yes, memorizing scripture is also important. Pick verses that mean something to you, and it will bless your life, and also encourage you in the hard times of your life. There's a scripture which I try to say every morning that helps me start my day with God. It is Micah 6, 8. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God. I had better let you go. I look forward to us sharing scriptures again. Bye.